This is Computer Wizards tutorial on how to replace or properly replace dynamic RAM in a laptop and in a tower in one video. I'm going to do it. It's a pretty straightforward job, so I'll show you how to do them. And this is a proper way of doing it. I've seen so many people online on eBay not doing it in the correct way, so this is the correct way. First things first for a laptop. This is a compact. Um, first things first, let's get this uh, battery out. Battery out, so no power going to the battery. Unfortunately, this still leaves lots of current left in the motherboard. So, what we do now is hold that in for 30 seconds to a minute. A minute would be a much better um, period of time. And whilst I'm, yeah, so what you've got on the motherboard is a capacitors and they store charge and retain the charge and it's very difficult to get rid of that charge. If you watch if you look at a a um, time capacitance chart you'll see that the trail off on the uh, it goes to infinity which tells me or tells the average physicist that or electronics guy that it never actually truly discharges. So you have to do this to discharge it completely. And um, once you've done that, um, for a few, few short rapid bursts, one second in and one second out, four or five times, should truly discharge the motherboard. Right, now we've done that. Right, first thing to look for, if you've never done it before, is I um, did these pictures earlier, because I knew the, um, you weren't going to see these on, on here. Uh, this end of this. This is a hard drive. Not only does the size of it give it away, but these little pictures here are sets of platters, which is most hard drive. Uh, most hard drives have got two or three discs like that with electronic heads moving in and out very, very rapidly. So fast that the eye can't see it. Um, minus the spindle. And this is a picture to tell you that under this cover there's a hard drive. The next one down is RAM. This is a uh, because this is a laptop. This is quite a short piece of RAM, which is called sodium RAM, which is what laptops have, which is short for a uh, small outline, dual inline memory module. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, and as I, as I say, they're short. This picture here indicates it's like a microphone with uh, these like sound waves coming out, but they're actual actually radio waves going out which pictorially gives you more or less the same thing so you should be looking for these under underneath this is the picture that you'll find on top of the cover and there you go there there's one there which is that one there exactly so the wireless card is under there wireless LAN and there's two pictures there which are both exactly the same as that which tells me the RAM is under here so Let's get this RAM out. Keep going until you can hear the click, click, click. It means the screws out of its housing. And there we go. Those are the two memory modules. Now, let me turn these round. Uh, they've got little slots in here. And there's a couple of teeth actually holding them in. Now, what we need to do is uh, both at the same time, there's a tooth there and there's a tooth there. So what you do is just go in front of it and pull them outwards away from each other and that will shoot up to about 25 degrees as you see. Now because it's at that angle, um, we're going to pull it out in that direction of its angle. Um, what you've got to try and do is not touch the tips of anything that might be magnetic or um, hot or conductive in any way on the chips and also the gold bits that come out. So out you come over there and the next one down pull out same thing happens pull it out using those slots. Right as I said don't ever handle them with your fingers as well, because you are you hold a massive amount of static electricity, especially in the summer. 
which gives a massive spike. Uh, we shall fry that. Grab all that like that, and you most likely fry it, especially in the middle of summer. And even if you've got a static sh um, thing on, strap on, and this is joined all the time, um, most people don't wear them, they just touch themselves on something that's plugged in, so they earth themselves. But as soon as they shift their feet, lift them, shift it, they recharge the body up again. So don't touch the chips or the gold bits. So we're going to put, we're taking two by 12s out, and now we're going to stick in our. Um, one gigs. Now again, hold on the outside, go down to the bottom dim slot, hold it about 30 to 40 degrees, push it in until the gold disappears. You can see that. I'll do it on the next one. Um, find something that's not conductive, uh, would it be better? And push it down. And same thing again. You can see this gold there. Now watch that gold disappear as it disappears in the slot. Can you see that? Slowly, fast. The gold from where my eyes are at the moment, looking down here, it disappears completely. So, hold it in the middle, push it down, make sure it's right in. It looks like it's not in properly. Right, that's, that, that's the ram replaced. And the first thing you do is obviously put the battery back in and fire it up to make sure that it has seen the RAM. Uh, we're not going to do that because that will just lengthen the video, but you know where to see the RAM. If you don't, it's, in the, it's under control panel and system devices, device manager. Um, it's under general in device manager. That shows you the processor speed, the operating system, and how much RAM you've got generally. And it uh, tells you if you've got 768, for instance, that means you've got 1 gig of RAM and 256 of it's being used to supply the, the RAM for the graphics card. And let's put the battery back in so I don't lose it. Right, that's the laptop out of the way. Now I've got a tower. Let's put that RAM, as I remember, out of, this, out of sight, in a safe place. If you don't think it's uh, worth doing, this uh, staticness, try this for size. I had a job to do which demanded that I took out a GeForce 256 card. In them days they were about two, 250 pound. And this guy wanted a, a 512. So when I left, I said, What do you want me to do with the 256? He said, Oh, well, you can keep that if you want. I thought, Well, that's very generous. I said, Thank you very much. So, uh, yes, here we go. This is the RAM. Getting sidetracked here. I'll continue that in a minute. That's the dynamic RAM there, two slots. Again, what we're going to do is take out two 512s and replace them with one gig. Now these white creamy bits here, white, they are what we call the uh, retainers. Now it's not plugged in, but assuming this was just plugged in, this would be charged up. So um, we unplug it, throw the switch, if there's one on there, to, to zero. Um, go to the switch on the front, hold it in, hold it in for at least a minute, as I said before. And uh, I don't even know if it's getting all this. So I'm just going to it out a little bit just in case you're not 